we got? It worked! <laughs> That's so cool. Hey everyone, it's Rachel. A few days ago I discovered a really cool video effect that makes guitar strings look like oscillating sound waves. This effect, although certainly magical looking, isn't exactly magic and there is something causing it. So today I want to talk about what causes this effect and how you too can replicate it for yourself. While the effect may look like it's just caused by the guitar with a sound wave going up and down the guitar string, it's actually caused by the camera. The effect is caused by something called rolling shutter. So what is rolling shutter and how does it cause this crazy guitar effect? Rolling shutter describes a method of capture that many cameras use where the whole image is not captured all at once. It's actually captured line by line from top to bottom of the frame. This means that if something's moving really fast in the frame, by the time the camera gets to the bottom, the object might be in a different position than it was when the camera started scanning at the top. And this can result in some weird artifacts. Most of the time, this is not something you really want, but in the case of recording guitar strings, it makes a really cool effect. So to help me explain how rolling shutter causes this wavy guitar string effect, I made something on the computer. So let's say that this line moving back and forth really fast is a guitar string. And the box surrounding the guitar string is the camera frame, so what the camera is seeing. So now let's start recording and see what happens as the camera with the rolling shutter captures the guitar string. So let's say now that the green line moving through the frame is the camera as it records the frame line by line. And the red line is the string as recorded by the camera. So now we can see why this is happening. So as the camera scans the frame, the string continues to move back and forth really fast. Because the string is moving back and forth so quickly while the camera is scanning the frame line by line to produce the final image, as the camera scans the frame, at each line, the string is in a different position and that results in the red wave you're seeing now and the wave you're seeing on the guitar string. So hopefully that helps to demonstrate how rolling shutter causes the wave effect on the guitar strings. If you haven't seen it before, the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day made a really good video going into detail on the rolling shutter and what sort of effects it causes in different situations. So if you'd like to learn more, I'll have a link to that in the description. So now that you've seen what causes this wavy guitar string effect, I want to talk about how I was able to replicate it and how you can too. So the first thing you'll need in order to capture this effect is a camera that uses the rolling shutter technique to capture its images. As far as I know, most cameras today use rolling shutter to capture images, so you likely already have a camera that uses it and will be able to get this effect. For instance, I know that iPhones use rolling shutter, as I've seen many videos of people capturing guitar videos like this with their iPhone, and I also tested it out myself, and it is possible to get this guitar wave string effect using an iPhone. I personally captured the ones for the video using my mirrorless camera that I'll have linked in the description. But again, I think most cameras use rolling shutter to capture images. So the second component of capturing this sort of shot is to set a very fast shutter speed. Shutter speed is basically the amount of time that the camera sensor is exposed to light and capturing the image per frame. To capture the video I showed in this video, I set my shutter speed anywhere between 1 3200th of a second to 1 6400th of a second, so very, very fast. You may also be able to set your shutter speed to a bit slower, but when you get too slow, it ends up just blurring the strings because it's capturing more information per frame, which means that it's capturing the string moving back and forth more and just more motion blur. In general, people use fast shutter speeds to capture fast moving objects in detail without any blur. And slow shutter speeds introduce some blur but maybe make things feel more natural in some situations. Super slow shutter speeds are also used to capture those really cool blurry images of cars driving through cities that you might have seen before. But for this, we need to set the high shutter speed so that we can capture in detail the string as it moves back and forth really quickly within the frame. The downside to this super fast shutter speed, which allows us to capture this really cool guitar effect, is that the image gets very dark. Since the sensor is only letting light in for a very short amount of time, not much light gets in and the image is dark and you have to introduce a lot of outside lighting in order to make the shot look any good. So for me, setting the shutter speed was as simple as changing a setting on my camera, 
but on the iPhone or other smartphones that might be a little bit more tricky. There may not be a shutter speed setting by default on phone cameras, so you might have to download an app from the App Store which allows you to customize your camera settings, or you might be able to shoot something like this in very bright daylight. The videos I've seen of people doing this just with an iPhone have all been in extremely bright daylight situations where they're getting a lot of direct sunlight. In that case, in bright light, the iPhone probably sets its shutter speed by default to be very high to compensate for the amount of light and make the image a little bit darker, which allows this effect to be captured by default. So trying to record this with your phone in daylight might be an option if you want to try it out and you can't find a way to change the shutter speed yourself. Another thing that I noticed made the effect more prominent was to record the guitar at a slower frame rate. So I used 24 frames per second. I also tested recording at 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second just to compare and the 24 frames per second video was definitely the most clear in terms of the waves on the guitar. So if you're trying to record this effect and want to get it really pronounced, it might be a good idea to record at a lower frames per second rate. And one more thing you'll need to know to recreate this effect, you'll want to have the guitar strings perpendicular to the rolling shutter. If the guitar strings were parallel to the rolling shutter, so the guitar strings are like this, and the rolling shutter is coming down like this, you may get an effect, but not the effect you're looking for because the string won't be in a different position at each line in the frame as the shutter is moving down. To do this with my guitar, I just had it sitting up straight in my lap, not as I'd usually play it, so that the rolling shutter, which just went down like this in my camera, was perpendicular to the guitar strings. If you're recording with a different camera or maybe a mobile phone, you might need to experiment with this to figure out which direction your rolling shutter is moving. On the iPhone that I tested recording with, if you're holding the camera like this, the rolling shutter moves down this way. So you want the guitar to be perpendicular like this. So as far as I know, those are the things you need to know to be able to capture this wavy guitar string effect for yourself. So although this effect on the guitar isn't exactly magical, it isn't actually a really wavy string, it's just moving back and forth really fast with the camera capturing it and causing this effect. I still think this is really cool and I hope that you enjoyed learning more about it and about how you too can replicate it. Again, if you'd like to learn more about rolling shutter, and see more of the other effects that it can cause in different situations, I'll have a video linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.